Hi, welcome to Nourish Bill. I'm Dr. Lara. In this mini lecture, we're going to talk about the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates. <laughs> So first, let's just talk through an overview about why we need this carbohydrate digestion. So we know that carbohydrates come in simple and complex forms. We require enzymes in order to break apart these disaccharides and these polysaccharides into monosaccharides. Um, and then, uh, so some of this carbohydrate digestion is going to take place in the mouth, but by far the most digestion is going to be taking place within the small intestine. Now, once we have these carbohydrates in their monosaccharide form, that is when we can absorb them from the small intestine into the bloodstream. So let's start talk about what goes on in the mouth. I have alluded to the fact that some carbohydrate digestion can occur in the mouth. So first of all, what are we eating? We are, uh, carbohydrates primarily come in the forms of disaccharides and polysaccharides. We're, we don't have a substantial intake of monosaccharide form. So we're gonna eat some disaccharides and some polysaccharides. Now, in our mouth, we are going to um, have a nice uh, cocktail of saliva that is gonna be entering. So we have saliva from the parotid gland, the submandibular gland, and the sublingual gland. And saliva contains the enzyme amylase. So amylase is an enzyme that can hydrolyze some of the amylose um, from the starch into smaller disaccharides and um, into some monosaccharides that we can absorb. Now, um, I mentioned in the previous lecture about the uh, about carbohydrate structure that amylase can specifically hydrolyze alpha-1,4 linkages on the terminal ends of the linear amylase. Um, now, uh, food is only very briefly in the mouth, so we don't have complete amylase or amylose digestion in the mouth. Um, now, some of that glucose that we hydrolyze off of the amylase can be absorbed orally, but not very much. Um, and then as we swallow the food and it goes down into the stomach, for the most part, that salivary amylase enzyme is going to be deactivated because the stomach is so acidic. However, some won't be deactivated because when we eat a mixed meal, that kind of buffers some of the acidic stomach environment. But still, the take home message here is that we will have a little bit of carbohydrate digestion going on in the mouth due to salivary amylase, but just a small portion of it. Okay, now we have reached the small intestine, which is where the bulk of the carbohydrate digestion is gonna be taking place. So carbohydrate di digestion will be um, due to the enzymes that are being secreted from the pancreas. So the pancreas will secrete the enzyme uh, alpha amylase, and this is going to be able to um, hydrolyze amylose and the alpha-1,4 linkages in amylopectin. Now, um, this pancreatic alpha amylase is not able to digest the alpha-1,6 bonds in the amylopectin. That requires a different enzyme called dextrinase. Okay, so now let's take a look at what happens at the brush border. So far we have done some carbohydrate digestion, but we still haven't digested our carbohydrates down into their monosaccharide form. And in order for us to be able to absorb these carbohydrates, they have to be in their monosaccharide form. So looking at our enterocytes, which again, they have these lovely microvilli, which to me still look so much like Bart Simpson. Um, if we look at the tips of these, um, these microvilli on the enterocytes, they are lined with enzymes. And these enzymes are gonna be responsible for digesting disaccharides and dextrins into monosaccharides. So we will have a whole series of different enzymes that are living along this microvilli border, this brush border. So we will have maltase. Maltase can hydrolyze the alpha-1,4 linkages between glucose and glucose. Um, remember, malt maltose is glucose plus glucose. We will have the enzyme sucrase, which can hydrolyze the alpha-1,4 linkages between glucose and fructose. We will have lactase, which can hydrolyze the beta-1,4 linkages between glucose and galactose, that's from milk sugar. And then we will also have the enzyme alpha-dextrinase, which will live along these, this brush border. And the alpha-dextrinase can hydrolyze the alpha-1,6 bonds from the dextrins that are remaining after that amylopectin um, digestion where, uh, because remember that we need this alpha dextrinase in order to hydrolyze those branch points of the amylopectin.